Welcome to Le Grand Voyage with Chateau Malartic La Gravière. In 1955, the author, Evelyn Waugh, who wrote Bride's Head Revisited, wrote to his friend and fellow author Nancy Mitford. She had recently published a book on class and how it influenced the language and habits of the English. Evelyn wrote to her to say that his mother-in-law always thought it middle class to decant claret, or red Bordeaux. However, he knew that Lord Beecham thought it was middle class not to decant champagne into a jug. Of all the reasons to decant a wine, or not, worrying about whether it makes you middle class is possibly the worst. It's a mark of a true wine expert and wine lover that they rarely worry what people might think of them, they just do what's best for the wine. I know some very expert friends who put red wines into the fridge just before serving them. It just takes a few degrees off and now I do the same. So what's the point of decanting Bordeaux, specifically red Bordeaux, although sometimes white? Decanting into a decanter like this does several things. First, it's a way of getting air into your wine. It opens up the aromas and lets the wine stretch its legs a bit. I used to do wine dinners in the cellars at Berry Brothers and Rudd, the historic wine merchant in London. Before the guests arrived, we would decant all the wines into jugs and then pour them back into their original bottles. This is called double decanting, and it made all the wines more expressive and generous. With older wines, you decant them to remove the wine from any sediment that's built up in the bottle as it ages. Red Bordeaux, usually over 10 years old, will normally have a little bit of sediment in the bottle. By decanting it, you have crystal clear wine in your glass. And there's a bit of technique here and a bit of planning. When you're serving an older bottle, it's best if you can stand the bottle up for an hour or two overnight. Once you're ready to go, and I'll have a go here, you open the bottle up and then you pour it steadily and gradually into the decanter so that any sediment remains into the shoulder of the bottle. That's one of the reasons that red Bordeaux bottles have that pronounced shoulder. It's perfect for catching the sediment. And this is the process that excites so, so many people when you're out and about and also leads to an awful lot of kit. There are things like decanting cradles that allow you to turn a lever to control the flow. I'm hopefully just about managing it with my hand here. There are several other pieces of equipment. Sommeliers, you can just cut this time there, will often go and have a candle. I've got one just here. Many people aren't sure why. The reason is simple. It's because in the low light of a restaurant, it's hard to see when the first dusty flume of sediment starts to enter the neck of the bottle. The candle underneath lights it up. And people worry that they're doing it wrong. Well, you really shouldn't. If you're a little unsteady, then you can use a sieve or a funnel. Some people use coffee filter papers, but I worry that they strip out more than just the sediment. If you have a clean pair of tights, in a kitchen funnel though, that's just about right. And what about white Bordeaux? Well, yes, why not? White Bordeaux isn't going to have a sediment, but the great fine whites of Bordeaux will benefit from stretching their legs in the fresh air just as much as Bordeaux's reds. How long should you leave a wine in a decanter for? Well, that depends how old the wine is. Younger wines need more time and have more vigour to keep them fresh. Older wines are more delicate, they react more to the air, and they're best decanted much closer to when you want to drink them. And there's one final reason for decanting. It's our psychology. A great bottle of wine is a special thing. Decanting it is a way of showing how special it is, a bit of ceremony, a performance that creates expectations and builds anticipation, an anticipation that's rewarded as the wine hits your lips. 
hope you've enjoyed the Grand Voyage with Chateau Malartic La Graviere. I've enjoyed doing it and I hope to see you again very soon. Thank you for joining us.